Hello, hello, everybody. It's me, Dating and Development. If you know who I am, you know who I am. If you don't know who, who I am, I know. Nailed it. Almost. Pretty much, yeah. Before we get started, we got a word from our very kind sponsor. I'm listening. You gotta eat the lettuce. Right, just straight up eat the lettuce. Nice. So, I'm writing a book at the moment, okay? I know I'm such a genius when it comes to uh, wordplay and everything else, a connoisseur of the English language, so to speak. And I want to read a bit of an extract I have from it, and it's my chapter called What She Says Is Different to What She Wants. Riveting stuff. So let's begin. We've all been there, haven't we? When a woman says one thing, and she goes off and does something else. Often, we are left scratching our heads thinking, what in Abraham Lincoln happened? David Data, in The Way of the Superior Man, perfectly sums it up. She is testing his capacity to do what is right, not what she is looking for, just say asking for. Women will make requests of you in plain English, a basic request at that, and if you do what she says, and you know in your heart of hearts that's not right. She will get angry. Now, I'm not saying to go and analyse when she says to you, can you please take out the rubbish? She isn't trying to trick you here. Now, let's give an example that we adults can relate to. Bedroom fun. Things can be getting hot and heavy in the bedroom. And please, for your sake, guys, wear a love, love glove. She's on the ball acting like a cowgirl at one of those rodeo bars. She says to you, I want you to unleash your pleasure right now. Here you have a split second decision to make. Do you let the one-eyed dragon cry? Or will you keep the statue of Woody erect in Disneyland? So anyways, you let the one-eyed dragon cry. You shed its tears. She stops and looks at you, deadpan in the eyes, saying, You're finished already? You told me, baby. I did what you asked, replies the cowboy, staring at the cowgirl's sad face. She replies, I wanted to see if you could keep the dragon tame. She mounts off him, lays beside him, and drifts off to sleep. The lonesome ranger thinks to himself, that was the wrong thing to do. Why did I do it? You see, women will test you to see if you can resist them. They want to feel their strength. They want to trust in your decision, not to be swayed by what you say or do. But what they say and do. You cannot move from your truth, from what you know is right. When a woman usually tells you to wrap it up during Frisky Fridays, don't. What I mean by that is telling you to finish. In a lovemaking session, simply respond with, I will finish when I'm ready to. I am enjoying you and this body too much. Outside of the bedroom, too, she will test you. For example, me. I like going to the gym and working out. Keeps me focused and clear. There was one time I was away on a weekend trip with a lovely lady. On Monday, so the day after we got back, I said to her, can you drop me home? I need to go and do my gym session. To her, it was no bother then. However, in the car I got, we had a nice weekend together. Why can't you sacrifice the gym for one night so we can spend one more wholesome night together? Priorities, huh? Shot American, by the way. And I simply said, Yes, we did have a very good weekend. I really enjoyed myself. But I have things to do and I'm going to the gym. As that is part of my purpose. So I'm going to go. And after that, she was visibly annoyed. Now, it was all a test, though. She wanted to see if I would cave into her. I went to the gym had a great workout, and the next time I saw her, she was rather loving and affectionate. So men, if she wants you to do something, and you know it is not right, don't do it. Trust your judgement. And that is the chapter from an upcoming book I'm writing. What's it called? God only knows. I haven't made up a title for it yet, but I'm 50 pages through. But anyways, if you found this information helpful, please slam that subscribe button. Slam it so hard! Punch it. Like, comment, and subscribe also. 
and turn on that notification bell as if you subscribe. Hope you're having a fantastic day, whatever we're getting up to. Take care, God bless, stay safe, and be better.